First thing we're going to do, we're going to paralyze this town. We're going to close down Port Gibson. It was this demonstration in Port Gibson, Mississippi, that led to today's Supreme Court case. Dozens of merchants were put out of business by an economic boycott, and now they're fighting back. I, I could hardly believe what was happening. I had done nothing to bring it on myself. I had not mistreated anyone. I had given the same kind of service to colored people that I did to white people. Willie Hay and a dozen other Port Gibson merchants are suing the NAACP to recover what they lost. But Association President Benjamin Hooks contends the boycott was protected by free speech. It would have a very chilling effect because I don't think that the NAACP in any instance in the Port Gibson case over a period of seven years ever performed any acts for which they should be liable either civilly or criminally. The Mississippi Supreme Court found the NAACP libel, ruling even worthy ends must be achieved through legal means, that even speech isn't always free. If the U.S. Supreme Court agrees, it would cost the NAACP more than a million dollars. But the long-range consequences could be far greater, disarming civil rights groups of what historically has been their most effective weapon, the economic boycott. Tim O'Brien, ABC News, Port Gibson, Mississippi.